So um, in this example, guys, anytime you see a binomial, Tyler, anytime you guys see a binomial times a binomial, you guys should all know that we can always go ahead and apply FOIL. So to remind ourselves, 3 times square root of 7 is going to be 3 square root of 7. 1 times the square root of 63 is going to be 1 times the square root of 63. So just be square root of 63. Plus the square root of 63 times the square root of 7, when you're multiplying two radicals, and since they're both square roots, their index is the same, we can just multiply them. So 63 times 7 um, is going to be the square root of 421. And then 3 times 1 is going to be a positive 3. Now, um, I just need to simplify. Well, square root of 7 I can't simplify. Why did you put 421? Well, because 7 times 6, 60, would be 420. So you have 7 441, sorry, right? Thank you. 441. Is that what I had written down? Yeah, OK. Um, so therefore, we look at this and we say, you know, what can we simplify? Um, well, I can't simplify the, uh, the square root of, or actually, I could have 7. I can't take the square root of 63. However, um, does any square number divide into 63? 9, right? So I can rewrite this as 3 square root of 7 plus the square root of 9 times 7 plus the square root of 441 is going to be 21 plus 3. Now, since I broke up the square root of 63, Haley, since I broke the square root of 3, 63, can I take the square root of 9? Yes. So I have 3 square root of 7 plus 3 square root of 7 plus 21 plus 3 is 24. I can combine these two to give me 24 plus 6 square root of 7. 